Chapter 8, The Crystal Sea. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. You don't know me. I'm your new Prince Charming, Leonhard Strauch. Got it memorized? Yasha a lot. Now, if you'd like to review the principles of ballistic trajectory, I can go over the formula. Only the coldest winters gave rise to the Crystal Sea, a floating field dotted with countless icebergs. Normally an inland sea, the bitter cold made it a frozen wasteland, impassable by ships. At these times, nature itself protected the imperial capital, snow on the land and icebergs in the water. However, this winter brought an unusual sight, three Federation battleships charging through that frigid expanse. Snow cruisers. These were the Federation's secret weapons, built to pass the impassable and tame the Crystal Sea. If those snow cruisers hadn't shown up when they did, the entire Ranger Corps would have died on that coast. As it stood, it already lost over half our troops by the time they arrived. After boarding, we reorganized the survivors. Each company went to a different ship. Squad E's company was assigned to the Operation's number two vessel, the Centurion. We're finally in a place where we can leave the cold, the hunger, and the marching behind. It's almost too good to be true. Straight out of hell, and into something like heaven. But, it's not a heaven that comes with a sky. Riley, how's Minerva holding up? She won't touch her food. It seemed to take all her effort just to respond to me. I see. Well, I can't blame her. She's one of the few survivors of Squad F. And they... They might not have died if... If Squad E had been quicker. But if Minerva stays like this... Yeah. Time heals all wounds, but we don't have that luxury. Ah! Damn it, there goes my soup! Are you okay? That was a big one. Ugh, I've had enough of this crap. I can't keep my appetite with all this damn shaking. And the boat creaks. I can't even sleep. <laughs> oh, princess. Can't get his beauty rest going over a little ice reef. You army boys are all the same. Oh, yeah? Well, we ain't a bunch of chumps on a boat, that's for sure. <laughs> and whose boat do you think you're on? Oh, we can help you get some sleep, Hotshot. No more scary ice. You might not even wake up. Oh, you think you're hot shit? Fine, come get it! <laughs> Coming in with a big wind-up like that? I'll show you how to throw a friggin' punch! Shouldn't we stop them? They can let off some steam. Idiots of the land versus idiots of the sea. Come on! 
Hey, Kai. Isn't this getting a little out of hand? Uh, that's the thing about idiots. They never learn unless you make them learn. The hell? Hey, Riley! You can't just grenade us! Holy! Retreat! Retreat! Whoa! Riley, was that alive? Custom grenade, full of chili powder, pepper, and powdered mustard. Let's go, Kai. We can have some tea on the deck, where it's quieter. Probably the only one who can stop this. Welcome to the Centuria. I'm the captain, Roland Morgan. This is Marie, the radio officer, and Luth. The radar operator. We help coordinate maneuvers between the ship and ground forces. It's nice to meet you, Claude. Luth, aren't you going to give Claude a proper greeting? What, waste my breath on that moron? I've got better things to do. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Luth's always like that. She's the best at what she does, though, so don't worry about her ability. I, I see. <laughs> These young ground powders are always so high strung. And you are? Brian Attic, Lieutenant Junior Gray. I'm the navigator. Lieutenant Haddock, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Just Brian is fine. You do outrank me, after all. Huh? No, I'm a lieutenant too. Not anymore, Claude. From this day forward, you're promoted to the rank of captain. Uh. I'd like to put you in command of this ship's guard convoy. Commanding the guard convoy? But Minerva Victor should have seniority over me. We've already offered the post to Lieutenant Victor. She refused outright and recommended you in her place. She did? I'd been considering you for the position myself, after reviewing your record. With your judgment, adaptability, and the trust of your soldiers, you make a fine candidate. Will you accept this duty, Captain Wallace? Yes, sir! Oh, marvelous. Well, without any further ado, I'd like to explain your first mission as captain. Our three snow cruisers are currently heading north, across the Crystal Sea. Our new haven is a raid on Schwarzgrad, the Imperial capital. The operation's known by the codename Sickness. It was a contingency plan for Operation Northern Cross. Devised in secret, you understand. But with Operation Northern Cross set back so far, Command is using it as a grand diversion instead. And so, we of the Cygnus fleet have inherited the duty of invading the capital. The Crystal Sea is a natural barrier. The Empire would never expect an attack from this side. Even if they did, the ice can't support ships, much less infantry and tanks. They can't intercept or pursue. This new weapon, 
the snow cruiser is going to let us ride right into the seat of the Empire. That is our duty. Attacking the capital from the Crystal Sea? I don't think anyone would see that coming. You command an entire guard convoy now, Mr. Wallace. I'll be expecting great things. I'll give it all I have, sir. <laughs> Good to hear. Then let's get to work. Your first duty as captain is to appoint a leader. What do you mean? With your promotion, you'll be carrying quite a bit more responsibility than you've had so far. You will also have more members in Squad E now. You'll need to open your mind to new strategies. You're already delegating a bit to Lieutenant Miller and Sergeant Raz, but I'd like you to appoint a new squad mate to leadership to help bring Squad E to its full potential. Huh. I'm sure this will be a boon to you in the battles to come. Thank you, sir. Uh, give it some thought. I'm confident your choice will be the right one. Someone who's fit to be a leader. Who should I choose? Minerva. <laughs> I accepted the position. I'll be commanding the guard convoy. But why did you recommend me? Was the title not enough? Now you want to hear me admit defeat in my own words? No. It's just... I, I know you still haven't forgiven me. And I never will. You killed Crystal, and you destroyed Squad F. I'll never forgive you, and I won't let you forget! Nevertheless, Crystal fought with her head held high until the very end. She died fighting for what she believed in. Even when it all looked hopeless, she did everything she could to protect me. So I will avenge her death. I'll defeat the Empire and fulfill her wish. Then why didn't you accept the... Because you are the better candidate, damn you! Squad F is gone. The only able member left from Squad D is their commander. After the reorganization, Squad E is the only one with any real firepower left. It's elementary. The only one who's fit to be commander is the one with the squad left to command. Minerva... Claude, I am prepared to do whatever it takes. I'll cast everything aside. If it means I can avenge them. If it means we can win. Staying locked in a petty contest of pride is only going to hold us back. Command me as you see fit, Claude. Bring us the victory you promised our allies. Our friends die fighting the Empire. Now it's our duty to avenge them. Yeah. I know. I'll be watching you, Claude. I will judge your determination and your strength of will. If you ever disgrace the memory of the soldiers who died to get you here, then I will personally 
send you to answer to them. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Minerva Victor reporting. My comrades paid the ultimate price, and I will carry on their legacy. My name is Ronald Ulvi, and I fight with the pride of Squad F in my heart. Important announcement to make. As part of the reorganization of the Ranger Corps, Squad F will be merged into Squad E. Your attention, please. As you know, Squad F was dealt a crushing blow in the last battle. The Empire's attack was too much for us. We lost almost everyone. but the spirit of Squad F still burns bright in our hearts. We will rise again, fight for our fallen brethren, and overcome the Imperial Army. Minerva, Squad E is here to help you carry those burdens. Crystal sacrifice everyone else's. We vow to them and to you that we will see this through. Just so. We are bound by a single objective. Defeat the Empire, and end the war. Henceforth, Squad F is under Captain Wallace's command. We shall push forward, together with Squad E. Let us fight as one! In addition to two new squad mates, we're also adding their tank to our numbers. Miles, Dan, this is Squad F's driver. Lieutenant Ronald Alby. It's nice to meet you. Don't worry about formalities with me. We can just take it easy. <laughs> with these new additions, our duties will be more demanding than ever. It's only gonna get tougher from here on out. We'll have to work together and fight as a team. I'm counting on all of you. Crystal, I will Seriously? They're still going at it? You could always throw them out onto the Crystal Sea and let them have a snowball fight. It's actually not a bad idea, but... They must have an awful lot of pent-up energy. A snowball fight wouldn't be nearly enough. Minerva! And Claude! Minerva, are you, um... okay? I wasn't wounded. I'm ready to move out any time. That's enough! The Federation staking it all on a new plan, Operation Cygnus. And we need to make sure it succeeds. We don't have time to be fighting over petty differences. Operation Cygnus? The hell is that? <laughs> Wait, you guys came aboard without even knowing that? Raz, everyone, listen to me. This ship is heading north across the Crystal Sea, towards the Imperial capital. This op is our new focus as part of the Ranger Corps. Wait, Claude, is this ship really going to the capital? Yeah. So we can roll on over the imps just by riding this thing? That's almost too easy. You squids and the crew better make sure I get there. 
I'm gonna be a hero, you know. You? The kid complaining he can't get his nap time? You're not even gonna last to the capital. What'd you say? Raz, cut it out. I think we might need some joint training between the Army and the Navy. For the sake of teamwork. Hmm? I'm sorry it took so long, but it's time to hand out your cold weather equipment. Winter gear. You mean we won't have to warm our hands on the tank's exhaust pipe? We'll wear a week's worth of socks at once? You had to go that far? I heard you had a rough time, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Well, now you'll have a thick coat, leather gloves, wool innerwear, and sheepskin boots. Don't worry. <laughs> no more shivering out in the cold. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, let's all get changed. Riley and Kaisha are taking a while. Man, why do women always take so long to get dressed? It's not like how they wear it's gonna make a difference. Oh, really? You think you've seen it all, huh? Ta-da! Riley Miller Winter Edition! Uh... Damn. Hey, what kind of reaction is that? Tell me what you think. Oh, I I like it. It looks great on you. <laughs> I know, right? I customized it a bit so the hem would look cuter. That's why it took so long, huh? Actually, that one's on me. Wow, yours looks really nice, too. Huh? Wait a sec. Your cloak's the only thing different. Are you gonna be okay? That looks kind of cold. Didn't fit me. Oh, that's right. Since you're registered as a man. I'm sure we could get Marie to find you a woman's uniform. Nah, I'll deal with it. Thicker clothes would only slow me down anyway. It's actually pretty warm if I just wrap up like this. Uh... <laughs> what do you think, Raz? <laughs> Whatever. Don't blame me if you catch a cold. Well, if you're invincible, you obviously don't need yours. I'll just take them off you. I... well... I... Look, just be careful, all right? Pleasure to work with you, Captain Wallace. This is a mock battle between Army and Navy. You better keep up. Let's go. Lock and load. Yes, sir. I've got this. My turn. All right, that covers the briefing. Squad E, prepare to engage.
We're going to practice cold weather warfare. Fight like it's the real thing. Squad E, move out! It's time for a joint training session between the Centurion's crew and the soldiers of the Guard Convoy. Practice or not, this will be your first deployment on the Crystal Sea. Treat it like real combat. We came all this way to do training? We wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for the Scrub Marines. What? You're the one who started it, you dumbass doughboy! Okay, you want a round two, huh? Hey! Quit squabbling and get in position! Why are you ordering me around? You're the newbie around here! This is just to get us used to working with each other, right? Just play it cool like me and... How long are you going to keep running your mouth? Concentrate, you buffoons! <sighs> Okay, let's get started. A blizzard's gonna roll in soon. Let's finish this up before the storm gets here. This is the bridge. Come in, Captain Wallace. Allow me to explain what the Centurion can offer in terms of combat support. Once you understand our capabilities, you can use them to turn the tides of battle. Take much. Aye, aye, sir! We 
beat the enemy. Sir! Yes, sir! Looks like you've all worked up a good sweat. Hopefully you're getting along a little better. Is he serious? He tortures us and that's supposed to make us buddies? Get used to it. Somewhere along the line, this guy turned into a nightmare drill sergeant. All right. I hear the Ranger Corps training gets brutal. Don't even get me started. I get the shivers just thinking back on it. Trust me. It's gonna get rough. Yeah? That sounds like a story. What kind of crap did they put you guys through? Well, that's encouraging. Okay, that's enough training for now. That storm's not gonna wait on us. Let's start packing it in. Headquarters has decorated you with this medal. Congratulations! Here comes the blizzard! Everyone hurry! Get back to the Centurion! Captain Wallace, come in! Everything's fine, Marie. We're coming back right now. No, this concerns another matter. Remain deployed for now. Huh? There's someone approaching us on the ice. Visibility is too poor to see if they're armed. Someone on foot? In this weather? There are lots of islands around here, mostly fishing villages, but there are some Imperial bases too. You think it could be an Imperial scout? Guy must have pissed someone off to get stationed all the way out in this frozen hellhole. We should hide. If they're an enemy, we'll let him pass. Sneak up from behind and take him alive. Roger. Huh. Look at how they're walking. I don't think they're military. It's a civilian. Hey, you there, stop! Don't worry. We're not going to hurt you. We're Federation soldiers. Are you from one of the nearby islands? Why are you out here all by yourself? Uh, um, the, the Empire suddenly appeared in our village. They, they said they were making a requisition. There are 20 more coming. My friends and family. We abandoned our homes and ran for it. But we can't make it much farther. I saw the ships and came to ask for help. <laughs> Driving out civilians and taking everything they own. It's been working for them so far. Marie, I need you to check in with the captain immediately. Tell him I'd like permission to house about 20 civilians on board. One step ahead of you. He's already given the okay. If we're taking in refugees, though, we'll need to take out the Imperial forces pursuing them. Rescue the civilians and eliminate their pursuers. Time to see if your training's paid off. Good luck. All right, let's intercept them at the village. Next mission.
better keep up. Let's go. Lock and load. Here I go. Yes, sir. I've got this. That's a nice breeze. My turn. Use what you learned from the mock battle. I have total confidence in you, Squad E. By the civilians, time to escape. Squad E, move out! Imperial pursuit will come from the south, going after the civilians. We need to seize that hill and intercept them. Buy those refugees enough time to evacuate the combat zone. I'd offer fire support if we knew where the enemies were. Maybe the Centurion's radar can tell us. Let's give it a shot. Officer, I will not fall here. A fight in the snow, huh? Sure. I have you. Great job. I knew you had it in you. Found them. Take much. Okay, moving out. I will see this through. You've been spotted. Watch out! Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Uh oh! The enemy is firing back! Right 
Okay, moving out. You're being targeted. That's all the way. Advancing. this often on the Crystal Sea? Yeah. Guess we'll be fighting the snow the entire way. some time. Now it's our turn to retreat. Prepare to intercept. Be careful, Claude. New enemies on the field. What the? They're fast. All right. Watch out for them. This is an order. 
going on the offensive. Here comes the pain. Terran Ray. Buddy, here are your orders. We have to treat our wounded. this through. APC, get the wounded and the refugees to the back. Everyone else, intercept and defend the Centurion. Here they come. Hmm. Who are those two? Are they... with the Empire? Don't let their looks fool you. Those are elite soldiers. They're nothing but weapons themselves. Objective is complete. It's time we took our lead. Shut it. I don't take orders from you. <laughs> hey, they're getting away. We gonna follow him, Claude? No. We should prioritize protecting the civilians. Keep your eyes open, but stay in formation. The enemy knows the position of the Cygnus fleet. They'll have a hard time following us, but we could be in for a long fight. in the previous battle was exemplary. Please accept this reward from headquarters.
Take your time, everyone. Don't lose your footing. <sighs> Glad we got permission to get them on the Centurion. Yeah, frankly, I'm surprised they would let civilians on a ship that's basically one big military secret. Any normal captain would have shut us down instantly. No amount of pleading would have done it. Hmm? What's up, Ras? Oh, just... one of the villagers caught my eye. Raz, they're refugees! There's a time and a place for hitting on chicks, and it sure isn't here or now. It wasn't like that, okay? It was a guy. Look, never mind. You there! Halt! That area is off-limits. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I can't read. This way. Follow the people in front of you. Uh, thanks. Whoa. Hang in there. You'll have a warm place to sleep soon. Oh, uh, thank you. Kai, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Just worried about him, I guess. He looks like he hasn't eaten in days. I see. While this section is yours, I'm going to patrol the restricted areas. Sure. Good day. Have you been waiting long? I've never been much for these military formalities myself. <laughs> Why not take a load off, Lieutenant? My name is Dr. Heinrich Belgar, although Belgar will suffice. I am but a humble scientist, in the employ of the Empire. I presume you're not a man to mince words. So allow me to be direct. Klaus Volz, I would like for you to lead my personal squad, Exo. Luck hasn't exactly been on your side, has it, Colonel? Blamed for the loss at Ziegfall, relegated to supply duty. But we both know that's a bit beneath you, isn't it? You're the most talented commander in the Empire. I hate to disappoint you, Doc, but I'm a man of very specific tastes. For my lovers, for my colleagues. For your enemies, too, I hear. Soulmates, you call them. <laughs> they are on the Crystal Sea, as you predicted, I note. Your records show a curious fixation on them, but it's unlikely you see them again on supply duty. Your account of their naval fleet is critical intel. It could very well change the course of the war. But your superiors are a bit set in their way. A ship crossing over land is beyond their limited imagination. So instead, they discredited you, reassigned you, washed their hands of you. As it stands, your soulmate may lead the Federation to victory. Join me, however, and you'll be free to fight the fleet on the Crystal Sea and Squad E. To your heart's content. Flatter me all you want. I'm not switching squads if it means abandoning my team. Ah, but of course. Your elite tank platoon, Ausbruch. I imagine you've heard of their predicament. 
Or perhaps they've kept you in the dark. What? That vault's lineage of yours is quite a shield, all things considered. The officers can't lay a finger on them. So they intend to retaliate in what petty ways they can, disbanding your dear Ausbruch and detaining its soldiers. Now, I may not look it, but rest assured my voice holds some sway with the Imperial military. I've already laid the groundwork for transferring the members of Ausbruch into XO. Once the transition is complete, Ausbruch can return to being the decorated vanguard unit it always has been. That's an awful lot of work just to get little old me on your side. What do you get out of this? It's simple. All I ask is that you pursue Squad E and eradicate them. I trust you'll accept, yes. Trading myself for the fate of my soldiers, huh? Fine, Doc. I'll play your game. But a man can't look this shabby if he's going on a date with his soulmate. We need to outfit ourselves. <laughs> Naturally. My accounts are yours to plunder. Arm your squad with the best that money can buy. Now that that's settled, there's someone I'd like to introduce you to. And who might that be? Now, will you all join us, please? This is for Seti. He shall serve as your strategist in the coming endeavor. A man of most exceptional talent, I assure you. <laughs> and of course... <laughs> these are Nicola and Chiara. Worry not, they may look sweet as summer, but I assure you their combat talents are quite beyond imagining. Use them well, these angels are my masterpieces. Ensure their talents are not wasted. <laughs> <laughs> With introductions out of the way. Welcome, Vaults, to the Imperial Science Board's most elite test squad, XO. Lieutenant Klaus Vaults, we open our arms to you in greeting. I do truly hope that you'll all get along. Yeah. <laughs> My, I could not imagine more perfect timing. <laughs> I have a very special surprise for all of you. Allow me to introduce our exceptional guest, the Lady Crimeria. My beautiful weapon of mass destruction. A Valkyria, reborn for our modern age. She's a Valkyria. <laughs> <laughs> 